okay dear students so this is a question that one of our viewer has sent me on whatsapp so let us see what is there in this question now the question is from paper 2 so that is why it's very very long so i'm not reading the statement and i'm not explaining this anything i'm directly jumping to the solution before understanding what is happening inside a speaker we need to find the anatomy of a speaker like what like this this is how a speaker works and i would be explaining you this now so <clears throat> see this is very very important for this question please concentrate this is the coil that the question is talking about and the current enters from this and current exits here <clears throat> so this is how the coil is uh, working now another thing that is to be noted is the magnet this is very very interesting part this magnet is cylindrical first of all uh, which is not uh, explicitly mentioned in the in the question so this is cylindrical and it has only one pole and that one pole is north pole so this complete magnet is north pole and there is a core inside the coil so this core this core is connected with the magnet and this is the south pole of a magnet so it's like this is a core and this is south pole magnet and the coil this is a coil and this coil goes like this so this coil is movable and it vibrates on this on this coil uh, on this core so this vibrates and this coil is connected with the diaphragm also so when the coil moves the diaphragm moves and because the diaphragm moves the sound is created and we listen to the sound so this is the working of uh, a speaker so very soon we are uh, so let us move to uh, our question bank now a uh, question now so uh, in this question <clears throat> see in this diagram how have they shown see this is the coil and uh, this is how the coil will look like this is how the wires of the coil looks like like this okay so now the first question is how the force is in which direction the force is applied on the coil so let us see this is the magnetic field now where is the magnetic field just a moment let me change this is the direction of the magnetic field and the magnetic field is radial so it is towards the center so from the upside it is moving downwards and from the downside it is moving upward so it is moving towards the center that is the south so the magnetic field is in the upper direction and the current is going into the board so by using the Fleming's right hand rule we can see that yes the force will be towards right the force will be towards right on the coil so this is the answer for your first question i'm this fast because i have already created so many of the videos and the time is very very less so that is why i'm just running here now the second question is what will be the force on the coil so for force the formula is b into i into l sine theta and this is our coil and the magnetic field is radial it is towards the center so we see that the angle between the magnetic field and the wire is 90 degrees so this angle will be 90 if it is not used in your uh, IB book then it is not required anyways so this will become 1 sine 90 will be equal to 1 so force will be given by BIL but because there are number of turns given so we need to multiply it with N also so it will be nbil so i am not substituting the values here you can substitute the values and you would be getting the answer that will be correct i know now the last question explain with the reference of electromagnetic induction the effect of the motion of the coil on the current now what will be happening on the current see as per the electromagnetic induction is concerned there is a fundamental i tell you whenever a coil tries to move inside a magnetic field whether a coil or a wire or whatever if it tries to move there is change there are changes in flux and the magnetic field does not like it it always want to uh, to nullify the effect so it always works against the motion so if uh, because of our current the coil is moving towards right hand side so the coil will try to induce a current and will try to move towards left so the current in the coil will be reduced induced current will be against the current uh, that uh, against the current that is actually moving in the coil okay so i was very very fast i'm really sorry for that because time is very less all the best bye